I am not a politician. I am a fighter. That is what I have been all my life. If I was not where I am because of what the system imposed, I would have been fighting or might have even died from the bullets. Those who know me know that I don't talk, I act. So it is very important that we understand that when there is an information out there and someone like Eric Tato can reach any individual who has made out that information and prefers to go online, is doing a disservice to this struggle to himself and to humanity. That is why I have persistently insisted that we must draw the line on what we are capable of doing and what we are not able to do. I will not take the job of journalists. And it is important that we should each know that in this fight, we each have our role. When there is an information and you think that you can reach out to find out the real veracity of that information, you should make an attempt to do that. You don't develop the ability or the habit of going online and acting as if your goal is to discredit other Ambazonians or to discredit information that is out there. That should be the job of La Republic to Cameroon. Even if I go out there and said 1,000 soldiers were killed, Eric Tato does not belong to La Republic du Cameroon. It should be La Republic du Cameroon that should come out and disprove me. That is the way it works in a liberation struggle. The only reason why Eric Tato did that and other people who think like him will do that, it is because they don't know we are in a liberation struggle. This thing is seen from a political lens, from a lens of people sitting in the comfort of their rooms and talking, without understanding what it means to prosecute this struggle. It is a problem. This is a young man who can talk to me at any time. I have advised him behind the scene. I've talked to him in front. You don't act like that. Not to me, Akwanga, or to any other Ambazonian. You should be able to pick up your phone and reach out. We should not be acting as if there is some competition on who brings out the information. No. I don't do propaganda, but propaganda is part of warfare, my people. It is part of warfare, propaganda. But I don't do it. I take no delight in doing it. unacceptable. I can assure you, my people, that there are many of you out there that if we were in the bushes, some of you would have received a bullet on your forehead. Because the way you create chaos in this struggle, you are not being paid by La Republic. You are doing what we call job mercy, work no pay for La Republic. You come out, you say things which is, which is dampening the spirit of the people. That is what we call in, in those days, job mercy, work no pay. And I don't know why you people keep on doing this thing. I don't know why. You don't operate like that. You don't operate like that. I'm saying this to Eric Tato and I'm saying this to every other Ambazonian. You do not operate like that in the liberation struggle. We should not take the comfort of the laws in the United States and think there is freedom of speech and everybody can say anything anytime without even reflecting on the impact it will have on the struggle. You don't do that. If Eric Tato goes out there and says they have burned down 10 villages, let it be the job of La Republic to Cameroon to disprove him. That is the way it works in the liberation struggle. I've got enough of this type of attitude and I'm not happy. I didn't come out here for this today. I came out to talk to you people on something very important. And I'm saying this 
because I've talked to Eric behind and I'm talking to him now. This is not the way you prosecute a struggle. You don't do that. This is more than a revolution. This is a liberation struggle. Because there are many of us who are working for La Republic without being employed by La Republic, without being paid by La Republic. That is what we call Njok Masi. There is no competition in who brings out the news. We should not be doing that. It does not help this struggle in any format. Now, let us talk on why I'm here today. My people, we all call ourselves Ambazonians. Some of us still prefer to call ourselves Southern Cameroonians. But the last 48 hours have been the most chaotic 48 hours I have seen for the last two years. I'm saying this to each one of you who is watching me and to those who are not watching me so that you take this message back to our people. I have sat on this chair and asked the question, what is wrong with us time and time again? And I still want to ask that same question here now. Are we not the same people who said there will be no elections in our homeland? Are we not the same people who went out and even sent out multiple declarations on the issue of no election? Are we not the same people who came out and said, please, the leaders, there is chaos. We want you to tell us exactly whether there is election or not. And then we sat and came out with another press release explaining that there is no election. We even comrade John Ba Akuru went out and explained. But what are you people doing? First, in every WhatsApp group, I mean, what's up group, which are supposed to be for independentists? You are the ones who, is, who are spreading videos of citizens of La Republic celebrating an election, which we know it never took place. You are the same ones spreading pictures. You are the same ones sending us election results. Ambazonians. Na are you nationalists? Are you federalists? Are you centrists? I'm asking this question because I really don't know. I wanted to say this, to say what I'm saying now, so that it comes out on live television. What exactly are you? Are you a centrist? That means somebody who believes in a unitary system. Are you a federalist or you're a nationalist? The way we are carrying ourselves in this struggle is not nice. I am speaking to you because of the pressure from ground zero where people are telling me, doctor, tell us what to do. Is it because we think that spreading um, videos and pictures and messages is our own contribution in the struggle? What has the election in La Republic du Cameroon got to do with us, nationalists? What has it got to do with us? We do not participate in their voting. We say we do not even recognize them. We don't want the voting in our homeland. And there was no voting in reality. There wasn't any voting. How could we even be sending messages of congratulations to a people who have nothing to do with us? What are we doing? Why are we kicking ourselves on the, on, on the foot? There are times I sit, I ask myself, which can and don't be this? What is wrong with us? Especially those of us who say we are out of our homeland. Where we are supposed to... I mean, we have the means to think. Because the bullets are not flying around us. But it looks as if our brains have a problem. Our brains seem to have stopped working. If we out here are thinking and acting like this, what about our own people who are dodging from bullets every second of the day what exactly is our problem what is wrong with us let me be very clear here let me be clear if jesus christ wins the election for la republic to cameroon and he decides to make a cabinet where he puts muhammad baha'u'llah 
and all the leaders of all the other existing religions as members of that cabinet. And makes Angel Gabriel his chief security officer. That will not stop the people of Ambazonia to seek for independence. Let me repeat again. If Jesus Christ, not Maurice Camto, wins that election in La Republic, Jesus Christ, that most of us say we are Christians. If Jesus wins that election and he appoints Muhammad as a minister in his cabinet, appoints Baha'u'llah, appoints every other individual who has passed around to be a prophet, let me make it categorically clear. The, the, the winning of that election by Jesus Christ, the appointment of Muhammad and all the others, will not stop our drive for total and unconditional independence. Am I saying something? Take this message and give to Mr. Kamto. Go and tell Maurice Kamto or Paul Bia that the only thing we can have from any one of them is going to be a negotiated settlement, not dialogue. There's never going to be dialogue between us. This is not a matter for debate. We are not going to debate over this. They can arrest some of us and lock up in prison. But there will be no debate over this issue. So let us stop this attitude that we have. Let us stop it. Some of us are the ones who are giving wrong advice to our leaders. Some of us are hiding behind them, trying to drag them down. Giving them wrong Wrong advice, telling them, go and say this, go and do this. No. Maurice Camto does not exist. La Republic du Cameroon is not an issue with us. We have asked them simply, leave our homeland. If you want us to resolve this issue, leave our homeland. We will talk with La Republic du Cameroon. It will be a negotiation, not a dialogue. These are two things. They are different. Dialogue, negotiation, they are different. That is the way it works. Even in an APLM forum, APLM, the African People's Liberation Movement, people are sharing things that has to do with election in La Republic, for God's sake, for the love of God. Those of you watching me, how many of you have spread out information about Maurice Camto making press release and the rest? How many of you have done that today? What has the press release of Maurice Camto got to do with the independence of Ambazonia or Southern Cameroon? What is the connection between the two? What is the connection? As we out here become confused, that is how we confuse those who are fighting on the ground. Why can't we stay focused, my people? Focused. Stay focused. Let me make this clear. I have insisted that La Republic du Cameroon cannot make a timetable for our future. Cannot make a timetable for our freedom. 7th of October. 2018 was one of those timetables. No, we rejected it. 11th of February is one of those timetables. We said no to it. 20th of May is one of those timetables. We said no to it. 1st of October has almost become one of those timetables that they will come out to kill us and we reject it. Just as we say no to the 22nd of September, to every true nationalist, everyone who is fighting for the restoration of our homeland. First October is every day. 11 February, which is supposed to be plebiscite day, is every day. 22nd of September, where there was massive massacre, is every day. And every day in our homeland should be considered the day the Republic tried to defy us to organize an election. There is no turning back in this issue. If you treat these days as a normal day every day, 
you will not sit and lose focus and be carried away by an individual who do what we call an auto declaration who ought, who declares himself president and start promising that he's going to give what I want to bear and the rest that is Maurice Camto's case we have taken a vow that even when we separate we will not spare Paul Bia in his grave. We will take his corpse, bring it for trial for our people that he has murdered. That is a vow we have taken. So Maurice Camto can go ahead and try to forgive his brother. That's his business. We have said every one of them who have spilled Ambazonia blood or who have made our young men to become soldiers when they were supposed to be in the classrooms at this moment or somewhere walking or looking after their families or in their farms they will be held accountable for what they have done we don't need the icc we will do it ourselves we will do it ourselves we cannot operate like this we cannot operate like this we cannot. We cannot reject an election. Tell our people not to go out. And then we became the same people who started celebrating that election. Individuals are going online. It becomes like a feast. No. We are in a state of mourning. Every day we get up, we should put on a black cloth because we cannot even remove our sackcloth. This is mourning period. There is no time for celebration. No time. There is no time. I don't know how many Ambazonian leaders did Maurice Camto call over the phone. Or all of those rogues. They call themselves politicians in La Republic. Call to say, please, I'm sorry for what you people are doing. I'm sorry for the killing to your own homeland. No, we did not have that. And it is not for us to get up now and even consider that those guys are existing. No, it's not going to happen. We rejected Paul Bia to come to Boya. So we reject Maurice Camto or any other individual to come to our homeland. We will meet with them in a third country, sit on the table and negotiate on how to resolve this issue for them to go quietly and we go quietly so that we can be good neighbors that is how it's going to work that is how it's going to work we do not need any politician from la republic to come around to come to our homeland we do not need them the time they were supposed to come out and show solidarity with us they never did it we do not need them you cannot take an old bottle and you think that you can change you can put new wine in it and you will change it no it doesn't they will, they will not do that to us you should not be hoodwinked you should not be bamboozled you should not be carried away ambazonians we are at war with la republic du cameroon we are at war with la republic du cameroon period this is war we did not declare it, they declare it on us. We are at war. And as much as whatever we want to do, please, share nothing that has to do with the elections in La Republic du Cameroon. Find a means on how to up our game on the ground. This is the hour. So that when chaos break loose in La Republic, we up our game here in the Southern Cameroon. That is the only thing we have to do now. Up our game. Up our game. Is it not yesterday that they set a blaze Pope Francis through around his, in his house at my 90? Is it not yesterday? How many of you shared the pictures of Pope Francis through? How many, you, how many of you were complaining online? Then look at what they have done to this grandpa, just like they did to Mami Api. And those of you who were sharing the videos and complaining, are you not the same people who went online and started sharing videos and stuff on Maurice Camto and La Republic, sending us results and all whatnot? Are you not the same people? How can you be doing that? There is a, 
There is a particular phrase in the Bible. And that statement was made by Joshua. Decide today whom you will serve. As for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. So any one of you who is watching me, you have to decide now where you belong. If you are a federalist, there is no place for you in this struggle. If you are a centrist, there is no place for you in this struggle. That does not mean you don't have a place. Go to where you belong. This is a room for nationalists. And here, the only thing we talk about is nationalism for Southern Cameroons. Period. That is the only thing we will tolerate here. It is not an issue of not building a democratic society. No, we don't even have that. So we cannot even talk about it. That is what brought me online today. That don't lose focus, my people. Please. Don't lose focus. Don't lose focus. Be on the alert. Stay on your guard. They can have series of elections. They can do series of declarations. But don't lose focus. All of us. People made mistakes, yes. But this is not the time to lose focus. All of us must remain determined. Must remain focused. Must look at Boya. Not just as a physical environment, not just as a city or a town on the needs of the of, of Mongo, Mongo Nambene, Nandeme. No. We should look at Boya as the symbolism for freedom. That every time we say we are marching to Boya, it should actually mean we are gunning for freedom and nothing will stop us. Boya should not just be that city that we know. It should not be that place we call I was. Boya should not be that cold environment, that town, that city, that village, that neighborhood. Binev Mount Fako, Binev Mogo Nandeme. Boya symbolizes freedom. So when you say to yourself, we are not stopping until we get to Boya, you are merely saying nothing will stop us until we gain our freedom. That is what Boya should signify to you now. So I am going to conclude here. The only way we can move forward is to stay focused. We should do whatever it takes to make sure we do not go off the rail. We must stay focused. These are very trying times. I can tell you that trying times, they can throw back to us. And if we are not careful, we are not focused, we will fall into it. These are very, very trying times.